Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about numerical aperture and resolution of a microscope. So we don't have a clear cut idea about resolution of microscope. We, heard, we hear a lot of terms like resolution, limit of resolution, and resolving power of a microscope, but we don't have clear idea about what is resolution of a microscope. So for resolution, we need some about idea about the numerical aperture. So here, in this video, in the earlier video, I have talked about uh, what is the numerical aperture of a lens. So numerical aperture of a lens is actually the capability of the lens to gather light information. So it gathers light in a form of light cone. And uh, for numerical aperture, we have written numerical aperture, like a uh, numerical aperture is mu times sine sin alpha, where alpha is the half angle with the optical axis. So now we have to talk about what is resolution. So here we have two points and there is a certain distance between these two points. So we can differentiate easily. These are two different points. Now, if the distance between these points are this much less, still we can differentiate that these are two points. And now if the dif distance between these are like so small, we can't really differentiate between the two points. So we need to understand what is the parameter on, on which we should tell these two points are resolved or these two points are not resolved. So there is a Riley criterion. So Riley have given a criterion on which we can say uh, two point, how these two points are resolved or not resolved. Say for instance, the light from this point will go and this would have a specific intensity pattern. And uh, same for this point also light from this point would go and produce a some intensity pattern. Let us draw the intensity distribution and understand what is the limit of resolution. Okay, so here in, in the graph, we have intensity on the y-axis and here we ha are drawing the intensity profile for the point A. So for the point A, the intensity profile would be like somewhat this. So the major intensity would be in the centrally and the rest of the portion would be less and for the point B if we draw another intensity profile like this and if this thing happen like the intensity profile of point A and point B are overlapping but such that the minima of one intensity profile is exactly overlapping with the maxima that would give us the resolved if it come more closer towards each other then we cannot really resolve with each other so let us judge the airy patterns corresponding to these graphs so if this is the first order uh, bright patch of for this red spot and this is the blue spot for instance so if this kind of scenario happens so we can just tell it these two spots are just resolved so this distance between them are just resolved so the limit of resolution d we denote it as d it is limit of resolution resolution is actually defined as like a constant Uh, a constant a constant times lambda divided by numerical aperture of the microscope or we can write it as lambda by mu sine alpha where mu is the uh, refractive index of the media so from this equation we can say that if our lambda is big then this distance is quite big and we don't need that we need this d to be very small if the d is very small then we are able our microscope is able to differentiate between two very closely related spots so for how we can increase how we can increase how to increase uh, the resolving power 
what we can do we can decrease lambda we can decrease lambda so if we decrease lambda as d is directly proportional to lambda so lambda d would be also decreasing if we increase the mu that means the refractive index of the media we can get high resolution that is why the uh, microscope uh, for oil immersion lens we use oil where for for oil immersion for oil immersion lens uh, mu is greater than mu is greater than 1 and also we can uh, make changes in this alpha we can make changes in the alpha to uh, uh, increase our limit of resolution so our uh, resolving power of a microscope resolving power of a microscope is inversely proportional to this limit of resolution so the microscope which have very low limit of resu limit of resolution the resulting power of that microscope would be huge would be high in contrast a microscope which has a big limit of resolution its resolving power would be low so what is the general resolving power and what is the general smallest uh, distance what is the, actually what is the uh, realistic value of d what is the realistic value of d so it appears to get this criterion fulfilled we should have d equal to a length which is half the wavelength of light we are using so for instance if we are using a 400 nanometer uh, light with a, a wavelength 400 nanometer then our d could be theoretically 200 nanometer but not more than two not below 200 nanometer our d could be like 300 our d could be like 220 but our d can't be below 200 so uh, uh, that is the actually the diffraction limit beyond which we cannot differentiate between two spots so this is all about the numerical aperture resolution and how these two things are related hope you liked it you enjoyed it please like and subscribe